What do you imagine? I've seen three things since mm -hmm. we've been doing this. Mm -hmm. So tell me one of the things you can see. Let's focus on one. Allow the one that's most important to just become bigger in your mind. What is that? I have deer legs. Mm -hmm. I have deer legs. Tell me more. Connected to the earth. There's a bird just in front of me mm -hmm. on a branch. So as you stand there with your legs on the earth, what do you feel? The leaves underneath my feet. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the rest of your body. What do you look like? The more you talk, the more you'll see. What does the body look like? Do you have extra feet or are those the only ones? Just feel it. Allow yourself to talk it out. I can't help you unless you're talking. Well, I saw so clearly <clears throat> before mm -hmm. when you did the first and I was I saw a castle very clearly, mm -hmm. and there were cobblestones. Mm -hmm. What do you see now? Allow the pictures to come. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, I want you to go to a memory of a lifetime that is affecting the lifetime of Simone now. Taking a deep breath in now with five. Traveling through time and space, looking for the memory. Four. Allowing the images to come. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. Trust your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? I'm back to the garden with my spirit guide. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to connect with your spirit guide telepathically. Let's find out what it is that your spirit guide wants to tell you today. You don't know your power. Mm-hmm. We're always trying to show you it, but you don't believe. Tell me. 
tell her more. <sighs> tell her about her power. She's a pure, untainted light. Mm -hmm. There's the 3D, the heavy. <clears throat> she needs to let go of it. Mm -hmm. How can she let go of that 3D life and still live it? She needs to hold the light, see the light. Believe in her light, ground her light, mm -hmm. pull it from source. All right. Let's begin today in this beautiful place where she is, and let's give her a big lesson today. Let's show her right now how to own this light. I'd like for you to show her right now her power. Bring in that light now and tell me what happened. The shell falls away. Mm -hmm. So much power. Mm -hmm. She's been hiding her power. Why is it that she's hiding it? Because she wants to blend in. Mm -hmm. That hasn't worked for very well, has it? No, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and ground her now. Show her the grounding. Completely ground this power. We're all capable of this power. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that Simone is here to do with that power. Own it. Mm -hmm. Which, own it, own it, own it. Every what? day. Bring in the light. See the light. Believe in the light. Believe in the power. Release the shell. There's no reason to blend in. We all need to shine our lights. What happens when we don't own that light? The darkness tries to overtake the light. As a culture, mm -hmm. it has been. So she's had, she's had instances before in this lifetime when she has felt the energy, the tingling of the, of the light, of the energy. She doesn't feel it now. Right now she does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Why was it turned off for a while? Did she choose that? Yeah, she wasn't believing it. She needed her steps for her mental ego. Mm -hmm. Fill her with that light. And let's find out what it is that she needs to do with this light. Continue to own it. Very good. So I'd like to ask for the assistance right now of the spirit guide. If you would accompany Simone on a journey today to find out why she came here on this earth now. Would you go with her, please? I'm going to count from five back to one. I want you to follow that light, follow the energy back to the source of it, to the source of the information. She's not like others. Mm -hmm. She has angelic history. All right. Would you show her that, please? Take her there. Mm. Take her on that She beam. knows how to fly. All right. Show her what she looks like in that form. White. Mm-hmm glowing. Very good. Keep going. White robe. <laughs> A 
closer to source, Mm -hmm. innocent, moral. So let's find out what the role is in this angelic realm, what you look like, what what you do. Long blonde hair, Mm -hmm. big green eyes. It's not so much about what we look like. Mm -hmm. We don't care. We just glow. We float. We Mm -hmm. fly. Mm -hmm. We exist with high source vibration. Do you have any role to play in using your power? In this lifetime? Mm -hmm. To break the shackles of the 3D world. Mm -hmm. To show others how to do it, to inspire, to create with God, to be one with the Mother Earth, to embrace the sun, to honor all that's sacred. How is she doing? She's doing great. Every day though, every day, every time she can think about it, she should channel into the source energy Mm -hmm. and ground it into the earth and expand it as much as she possibly can. But she has a problem with the discipline of doing it every day. What's the best way for her to do this? If she has a thought that comes up as negative, to notice it, Mm -hmm. transform it. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about her fear of heights. That's kind of ironic since she knows how to fly when Mm -hmm. she's not in her physical body. Mm -hmm. I think that she just is putting it as a fear because she misses flying. Mm. So what happens when she goes into a panic about heights? Maybe she should just picture flying. Mm -hmm. It'll transform the energy. So can we do that today? Yeah. All right. So I'd like to take Simone to the place that she fears the most. A place where she would be panicking about the heights. I'd like for you to see this place and describe to me where you are. Top of a cliff. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'd like for you to feel that breeze coming through, the breeze from below, looking up into the sky, and I'd like for you to see yourself with those wings. And as you envision yourself Mm. growing these beautiful wings, I want you to know how it feels for someone who can fly, who can use that breeze to take you wherever you need to go. This is why she's so connected to the birds. Mm -hmm. So let's have some birds remind her. I'd like for you to see the birds. They're not scared of heights. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to see as they grasp on to those those waves of beautiful energy of the wind and how they play. Mm. It's like a highway of wind taking them. See how they use their wings. And these birds are going to show you, remind you, of how to use these wings. So when you're ready, 
I'd like for you to feel that breeze coming by, welcoming you to take that leap of faith, to remind you of what it feels like. What happens next? Mm-hmm. Gliding through the canyon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feel the wind on your wings. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's no more fear. Allow yourself to just maneuver through them, looking at the beauty. Feel the wind as it plays with you, gliding you. Feel the lightness. What do you feel? Going to the Grand Canyon now. Mm -hmm. Describe everything you see. The sun is shining. There's little bits of green on the side of the cliff face and down below. Red rock. There's puffy white clouds above. The birds think of me as one of them. Mm-hmm. What happens next? Where do you go? I land safely on the bottom and get a drink of water. Mm-hmm. Take a look at your body. What does it look like there? It's a human body with big white wings. Mm-hmm. Now you can use those wings to take off again. Let's connect now. Connect now with the others that guide you. I'm going to go up into a cave. All right. The one I reached at the bottom of the stairs. Mm -hmm. There's like hieroglyphics on the wall. Mm -hmm. And the tunnel leads to the left. Very good. I'm going to walk down the tunnel and there's like illumination. Where is it coming from? It's kind of like a secret room. Mm, Very good. That's kind of like a classroom and... spiritual. Mm -hmm. Are you alone in this place or are there others with you? Others? Mm -hmm. What do they look like? I keep seeing like a centaur. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing like a centaur with like wings and like Mm -hmm. hoof, like hooves. Mm -hmm. But my ego wants to deny it, but I'm going to embrace it. Mm -hmm. Connect with the centaur. Who is he to you? Strong energy. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit harsh, kind of. Mm-hmm. What do you need to know from the center? Connect your minds. Seeing a Native American. Mm -hmm. All right. Is it male or female? As a male. Mm -hmm. Connect telepathically. What do you receive? Mm. Mm. New Mexico. Mm -hmm. The earth. Mm Mm-hmm. What do you need to know about this place? 
The secrets are in the ground. Mm -hmm. The sacredness, the connection, mm -hmm. the feathers. There's more to learn. There's more to explore and have fun with. There's going to be teachers. It's like spiral energy. Mm -hmm. And these things that you will be taught, what is the purpose of remembering them? Purpose. Mm -hmm. How will those that knowledge benefit you? It's the path. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Connect with this wise man. Does he tell you? I want to say that he's going to, like my husband's involved. Mm -hmm. connection with through my husband somehow mm -hmm. all right so let's find out what that connection is we're going to go to the time before this lifetime that you decided to make that connection so that we know what it is we're going to count from five back to one when we get to number one you will be at that time and place where you made that agreement Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going through time and space. Four. <laughs> three. Two. And one. Be there now. Where are you? Just floating. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to float. Connect with the soul. Let's find out what the agreement was. Trust you for spiritual time. benefactor, spiritual beneficiary, connecting spiritually and supporting mm -hmm. one another's path. Mm -hmm. He's from another place, mm -hmm. and I see us on a ship. Mm -hmm. My energy's different than his. But we knew that we would be good together. Mm -hmm. He was like a captain and a leader. What kind of ship is this? It's a craft. Mm -hmm. I met him. And I come from a completely different place because I'm angelic. Mm -hmm. What does he look like there? I just want to keep laughing about it. Mm -hmm. He's just like, it got this like harsh, like energy, mm -hmm. but it's innocent. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you have seen this harsh energy before in the centaur. Yeah. What is the reason why you keep coming up with this harsh energy? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. What is it that you need to know about this? Why are you... Because it, I have the capability of it, and I'm embrace... I can embrace the harshness. Mm -hmm. What do you do with it once you embrace it? It serves its purpose, but it also needs to be softened. Mm -hmm. Is that what you do with this harshness? Take a look and see how you affect this harsh energy. I can fuel it, mm -hmm. or I can soften it. Mm -hmm. So in this captain and leader, what did you do with his harsh energy? I admired it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what it was that caused both of you to agree to come into this lifetime at this time. Be there now. Help the earth make the earth better. Mm -hmm. Transform. And sometimes it takes that power, mm -hmm. that rebellious streak mm -hmm. to change the structure. There's a spiral that's mm -hmm. just a spiral connecting them, and the spiral energy just moves in circles. It's this completion. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a part. Every piece mm -hmm. has its own direction to go, and every purpose is different. And every purpose fits with every other soul being. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out even more about the purpose of being here. Let's look at the entirety of all of these lifetimes that this angel, angelic being has lived, I'd like for you to see out before you all of the different lifetimes that are being lived right now, all parallel. And let's see if there are any of those lives that are affecting the lifetime now of Simone. Allow that lifetime to just bubble up to the surface. I see some lady running. She's like wearing like like prairie clothes. Mm -hmm. Acclimate yourself to that life. She's kind of like running away from her, this mean guy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. He's like a cowboy. Mm -hmm. So connect with her. Allow yourself to see life through her eyes and feel the feelings. She, like, tried to go against something he said, and he's, like, wants to, like, beat her or something mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. What happens next? He's, like, dirty and gross. Mm-hmm. So feel the feelings? I don't want to. <laughs> we need to find out how it's affecting Simone. Let's see what's happened. 
she got kind of like bitter and like grr mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. Go to the last day of that lifetime. Take a look at that life. What's happening to this woman? I think she got killed by an Indian. Mm -hmm. With a bow and arrow. So connect with that soul. Allow her to detach from that body. And let's find out how it is that li lifetime is affecting the lifetime of Simone. Men. Mm-hmm. Harsh. Mm-hmm. What is it that she needs to learn about these harsh men? She doesn't have to choose that anymore. Mm -hmm. So, I'd like for you to just allow her to slip into time and space. Yes, please. Disconnect from her life completely. And let's find out why she chose the beginning of her life with harsh men in her life. Let's find out what it was. What did this angel need to know? And what did she need to do in this family? The men are hurting. They're just not sure how to be. They have continue this path of confusion mm -hmm. and it's time to soften it it's time to show them how to be it's time for the women to hold space mm -hmm. for them it's time for the women to circle it back around to balance is that a reason why she chose a family with so many males in it <laughs> That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. What is she doing to that family? She leads, she guides, mm -hmm. she softens, she loves. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in her heart left to do in that family? They still want more. Mm -hmm. She guides them just in her own actions. Mm -hmm. When she f leads her life, they see how it can be done, and they do look up to her. Let's see what she receives from them back. It's always a two-way street. What does she get from them? It feels rewarding. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's find out a little bit more now about why this angel is having so many allergic reactions to animals. So much reaction to pollen. If she is meant to be here on the earth, let's follow that. So I'd like for you now to begin to follow that trail of where this began. As you breathe, every breath will take you past into the past. It could be in this lifetime or another lifetime. But as I count back, you will get closer and closer and see the images of what it is that's causing the allergies. Uh, I'm a deer in oh, the woods. All right. Tell me more. I'm a little skittish. Mm -hmm. It's my first time 
on Earth. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting used to it. I'm pretty connected to the Mother Earth. But I have some fear. Let's see what this fear is coming from. The humans want to kill me and eat me. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to run from them. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. What happens? They get me and I release. Mm -hmm. I die. And as you release, I'd like for you to look at that lifetime. It's harsh. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go back down there. Mm -hmm. What happens when you go back down? Vulnerable. Mm -hmm. well, how do you protect yourself from all of that? I thought I could hide in the woods, but the woods couldn't protect me either. Mm -hmm. So what have you done? What have you done to yourself? <laughs> what do you do in a world that doesn't protect you? Block it off. Mm -hmm. Become allergic to it. Mm -hmm. And what does allergies do for you? It doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to take that form of that an angel and I'd like for you to visit that deer and I'd like for you to talk to that deer and explain the earth and the consequences of coming here. What would you like to tell this little deer? It's okay, little deer. I don't know why. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I love you, and you can create a new choice next time. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene. Close that scene. And I'd like for you now to see a scene in which this deer comes back completely confident in the earth. Using those words, I want you to feel the confidence of this deer. She's laying on the leaves. Mm -hmm. She has a little baby deer. Mm -hmm. They feel safe and good in the woods. I'd like for you to breathe in. Breathe in those woods. Feeling safe. <sighs> Knowing that the earth protects you. The earth is safe and the humans are okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. They admire me. Very good. So now taking that experience, I'd like to see how that has affected the lifetime now of Simone. The new experience? Mm -hmm. It's okay to breathe the air. The woods smell good. Take a look at her cells, the ones that she has programmed to be in fear of the outdoors. And let's see if any changes have been made to those cells. They're getting secured. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and send to your cells in your body that feeling of knowing that everything is okay. The feeling of security and safety in the woods. Feeling that calm feeling with animals. Knowing they're okay. 
Allow your body to adjust. Finally, feel it. And tell me what happens next. Look at that body. Look at those cells. What do they look like now? They're more circular and solid. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now we're going to introduce something to her. I'd like for you to see before you that tree that creates all that pollen. And I'd like for you to look at that tree with different eyes. Imagine that tree as mm. a mother would look at that tree with beauty and appreciation. Mm. Look at the tree with gratitude. Mm. And let's shake up that tree a little bit with wind. And as that wind begins to knock off some of that pollen, I'd like for you to breathe it in and allow it to go through your system and see how the cells react to it now. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing to protect them from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now let's take a look at one of the animals that has the most dander. What animal does she see? German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to feel this animal near you. It's also like a wolf. Mm-hmm. Where has she seen a wolf before? Yep, she had a fear of wolves in mm -hmm. one lifetime. Mm-hmm. She loved the woods. Mm -hmm. But things would go in the woods that were scary. Like a wolf. So let's see what happens now. How is that wolf affecting her now? Allergies. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need to find out the origin. Let's find the origin of the allergy to the woods, to the wolves, to the dander. I want you to go through time and space and find the origin. The wolf got the little girl. Mm -hmm. She didn't know how to defend herself, mm -hmm. so she just aggravated it more. Mm -hmm. She was scared of it, and she threw a rock, and it attacked her. So I'd like for you to scan the life of Simone and see where in her life she's doing the same thing. Where is she aggravating? Who are the wolves in her life? <laughs> She'll be able to see right through the costume. Who are they? That's with her words. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Feels like society. Mm -hmm. So is the wolf her representation of society? Yes. Mm -hmm. So why is she blocking herself? Doesn't trust it. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask for her guide to help her through this. 
and remind her of why she's here. It's hard to look at these things, but you will remember more and more who you truly are. Does she need to have this defense against society? This allergy against the wolves in society? To some degree. Mm -hmm. Only enough to create a new society. Mm -hmm. Is she ready now to let go of these allergies? She wants to be. Mm -hmm. So we need to replace them with something else. Let's find out where she keeps all of these allergies, this protection in her body. Where does she keep it? Solar plexus. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to put my hand over the solar plexus and let's bring up this energy. There's a bear. Mm -hmm. That's bigger than me. Bring it up and let's let's confront this bear. Why is this bear there? Fear. Mm -hmm. Let's follow the fear. If you pet the bear, mm -hmm. it'll calm down mm -hmm. and walk away. All right. Are you ready to do that now? Yes. Go ahead. Tell me what happens next. It walked away. Mm -hmm. It had a baby behind it, too. So now as she looks at her solar plexus, what's there now? Light. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to focus more light into that solar plexus, mm. bringing in that full power and expanding it even more. Feel that power coming in, that connection directly to source. So I'd like for you now to look and see if there's any more allergies in there. Who are you? What's the response? There's like a light shining on somebody's face mm -hmm. with a hat. Mm -hmm. He's just kind of like hiding in there. Mm -hmm. Where is he? He's just outside of me. Mm -hmm. Kind of like cowering. Mm -hmm. What do I do with him? Let's find out who he is. I'd like for you to connect your mind. <sighs> and I'd like for you to give him your lips for a moment. He's, <laughs> he's also connected to food. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who he is. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, Lend him your lips. One, two, and three. Oof. You there. Who are you? I don't want to tell you. I know you don't want to tell me, but I'm asking you a question. My name's Clarence. Clarence. Why are you there, Clarence? I'm from the 1500s. Mm -hmm. Why are you lurking there in the shadows? What are you afraid of? Afraid of everything. Mm -hmm. What happened to you, Clarence? I don't know. Mm. I know what I look like. What do you look like, Clarence? I'm wearing long knee-high socks. Mm -hmm. I was. I look like a court jester. Mm -hmm. Take a look at yourself, Clarence. Do you feel normal? No. What's happened to your body? Take a look at your body. What's happened to it? What do you feel in that? 
It's messed up from the waist down. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your legs look like. It's all knotted and curled up. Mm -hmm. Were you born like that, Clarence? I don't think so. What happened to you? Let's take you to that moment, Clarence, when something happened to you. Somebody beat me. Mm -hmm. Who was it? My mother. Mm -hmm. What did she do to you? She beat me. I didn't listen. Did it break your legs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you able to walk again, Clarence? Never again. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So what, what did you do? What did you do with this? I died. I cowered in the corner looking for food. How old were you? I have a childlike face, but I got 18 or 19. All right. So, Clarence, what have you been doing all this time? <sighs> Simone is a mother to me. Mm -hmm. I needed that void. Mm -hmm. I needed to... Solar plexus. Mm hmm. You were hungry. Yeah. Mm hmm. Were you making her eat? Yeah. Mm hmm. Did that satisfy you? Yeah. Mm hmm. But you don't have a body, Clarence. You're using her body. Yep. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to feel that hunger anymore? To always feel happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to do some work on you, Clarence, because we need to find out why your mother was beating you. Clarence, I want to go. I want you to go mm -mm. to another lifetime when you and your mother were together. I want you to see what your relationship you had. I beat her. her. Mm -hmm. What were you then to her? I was her master. Mm -hmm. She was my worker. How do you feel about that, Clarence? Karma. Mm-hmm. You were just feeling what she had felt from you. Can you forgive your mother for beating you? Yes. All right. So now, let's take a look at what you've been doing to Simone all this time. What else have you done except me, besides making her eat? <sighs> Power. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that power. What are you doing with it? Diminishing it. Mm -hmm. What does that do to you when you diminish your power? Makes me feel somewhat powerful. Mm. But you see, Clarence, you already are powerful. You were just playing a role. Are you ready now to feel your full power? Clarence, inside of you, there's a spark of light. This is the God spark. This is the spark that created you. I'd like for you to find that spark now. And tell me when you find it. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'd like for you to make that light bigger. Feel it fully. My legs are better. Mm -hmm. Keep shining the light on those mm -hmm. legs. And you can feel them totally reconstruct. How does that feel, Clarence, to be whole once again? Good. Mm -hmm. Do you need to be hanging around with Simone anymore now that you have your own power? No. No. But you've done quite a few things to her all this time. How old was she when you found her? Twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. And what was she doing when she was twelve? Was she inviting you in? <sighs> no. No. You see, Clarence, this is a free will planet. And you weren't allowing her to fulfill her full power. What would you like to tell her about that? I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Simone. Can you forgive Clarence for not knowing any better? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to send Clarence off with light and love. But first, 
I'd like for you to go through your body and slice away any cords connecting Clarence to you. I want you to feel yourself just going through and slicing them away. And Clarence, I'd like for you now to go to the top of her head right here. And Archangel Michael is the one I use to take you back home. Tell me when you see him. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? Come with me. All right. So I'd like for you, Clarence, to go with Michael. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Tell me when you're home. Very good. So now, I'd like for you, Simone, to use that power of yours to bring it in through the top of your crown and send it right through your body. I'd like for you to energize all of that area where Clarence was attached to. And now finally feel that full power coming through without it being siphoned off by Clarence. Yeah. Tell me how that feels. Good. Good. So now let's continue scanning this body to see if there's anything else that's keeping her from fully using her power. There's like this, I'm just seeing an image of a feisty lady. She's a little bit overweight and she's got like brown, long, curly hair. Mm -hmm. Where is she? In my head, kind of. All right. So I'm going to bring my hand up to the head and we're going to bring her down, all the way down. Down, down, down. Lend her your lips. Good evening. What is your name, please? Anastasia. Anastasia. How old are you, Anastasia? Forty-three. Forty-three. And what year is it for you, Anastasia? Seventeen eighty-three. Mm -hmm. Anastasia, what is it that you're doing there with Simone? Why are you attached to her? She needs my help. What is it that you specialize in, Anastasia, that she can use your help in? Telling people what to do. Mm. So you're kind of like a, kind of like a bully? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you did when you were alive, Anastasia? What made you an expert in telling people what to do? I practiced it. Mm-hmm. Who did you practice it with? Everyone, I had some power and I abused it. Ah, let's find out what your power was. Well, what is it that you did? How did you use this power? In what capacity? See yourself there, Anastasia. See yourself using this power. What did you do? I had a leadership position. All right, very good. So in a castle. In a castle, very good. I was in charge of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I really felt my power. So did you take care of the people that worked in the castle? Is this what you did? You told people what to do in the castle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who were these people that you told what to do? Everybody else, there was a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Now, did you know this soul, Simone, in that lifetime? Did you know each other? She was too pretty for her own good. Mm. Who was she in that life? Or 
Was she in the castle with you? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Were you jealous of her? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, why have you followed her into this lifetime? What did she do to you? She wouldn't let me control her then. Mm hmm. Was she one of the workers there? No. Who was she? A lady of the house. A lady of the house. And you felt that you needed to control her too? I bet she wouldn't let me. Mm -hmm. So let's find out, Anastasia, how is it that you died in that lifetime? Go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. What happened to you? Cross. What happened to you? I don't know. See it from the outside. What happened to your body? Did you die naturally? Or was your life taken from you? I think I choked. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and, hope, and you were very young, weren't you, Anastasia? Not in those times. Mm -hmm. So why is it that you followed her into this lifetime? What did you want to do in this lifetime for her? boss her around. Mm -hmm. Have you been doing that? Trying to. Mm -hmm. How old was she when you came upon her? Recent. Mm -hmm. And what was she doing that allowed you to connect with her? Open. Mm -hmm. How did she open herself? Fear. Mm -hmm. So through fear, you found her. Mm -hmm. So Anastasia, why is it that you didn't go home after choking? I had to stick around and boss people around. Oh, I see. It seems to me, Anastasia, that if you have to boss people around, you don't have your own power. You're needing to bully other people in order to feel yourself in power. Why is it that you can't feel your own power? Have that you? is how I feel my power. Ah. Well, I could find a better way for you to feel your power, and you don't have to have anybody around. Would you like to feel that power now? Sure. All right. In your heart, Anastasia, there's a spark of light. This is your power source. This is true power. This is the power from your heart. I'd like for you to find that light and expand it. Tell me how it feels, Anastasia. Feel that power. Good, soft. Soft, now make it even bigger. Make it as big as you are. My face is transforming. Mm -hmm. What is it transforming into? Somebody lovely. Mm -hmm. Keep making that light brighter. People love me now. Mm -hmm. Can you feel the difference? Mm -hmm. So now that you understand all of these things you've been doing, what would you like to say to Simone? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Simone. Can you forgive this woman for not knowing how to find her true power? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you ready now to cut the cords? Mm -hmm. All right. I'd like for you to see yourself cutting all of the cords connecting you with Anastasia. Don't leave anything behind. And as you cut them, see how they dissolve. And now, Anastasia, now that you are this beautiful, powerful light, I'd like for you now to connect 
with all of those souls that you used to bully around. And I'd like for you to feel what they feel like. It's all love now. Mm -hmm. So send them your love now. Send them all your love. They're all running to me, giving me love. Beautiful, beautiful. Are you ready now to take that love and go home with it? Yeah. Very good. So I'd like for you to detach completely from this body, going up to the crown of her head. Archangel Michael will meet you there. And he's going to escort you home. I'd like for you to go with him now, Anastasia. And tell me when you get there. There. All right. Tell me what's there. What do you see? Light. Beautiful. What does that light tell you? We're all one. Very good. So I'd like for you to merge with that love, with that light. And may the light of the universe always accompany you, Anastasia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now, Simone, bring in that beautiful light, that powerful light. And engorge that area with that light where Anastasia was before. And expand it out even more, out beyond your body. And as you continue to scan your body, let's see if there's anything else. How does that body look now? Good. Very good. So now that we have all of that taken care of, let's find out a little bit about her light language. I'd like for you now to connect with that source where that light language comes from. Allow yourself to connect now with that source. And in this state, you'll be able to interpret it. Let's see where this light language is coming from. Celestial. Mm -hmm. It changes the cellular level. Mm -hmm. So what do we need to do today to change? What does Simone need to work on? Continue to allow the beauty. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to connect with that light language. To begin transforming on a cellular level, on a molecular level, what she needs to connect to and transform in order to do this. Begin the transmission now. Amplify. Tweak it even more, allowing it to release.
So as she is connected to the angelic realm now, I'd like for her to see this transmission and receive what the message was that it was giving the cells. Sparkling bits of light connecting with the animal realm also. Mm -hmm. What is it that Simone needs to do with this light language? She wants to be able to use it for healing. She can. Mm -hmm. In what way? Meditate and the words will come and just allow. Mm -hmm. Does she need to know or do anything with them? Just using them transforms the energy. Mm -hmm. Make sure she's around people who are safe. Mm -hmm. How can she discern the safe people from the wolves? She'll feel it in her gut. Mm -hmm. What should she do when she goes out? knowing there were wolves out there. If she could ground herself and pour the light into her body mm -hmm. and expand it, and as it expands, it acts as a shield as well. Mm -hmm. How often should she do this? She should do it frequently throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Make it a practice, and then your light will be so strong that you won't even... The people who are fear-based won't even come close to you. Mm -hmm. She'll repel them with her light? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what other suggestions would you like to give Simone about how can she use this light language and her own energy? It's help? okay if nobody's even there when she uses it. Okay. She doesn't need an audience? No. Mm -hmm. The words vibrate out into the universe and if nobody else is there to hear them, they're still vibrating out into the world. Mm -hmm. could Tap some, into it all the time. Could she do something like remote healing? That's great. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to show her an image in her mind of how she can use this. <sighs> It's an allowing. Mm -hmm. What state does she need to be in in order to do this? A meditative state would be nice. Okay. A soft intention. Might benefit her to practice often. Mm -hmm. The world could use it right now. Well, like I said before, there is a, an issue with discipline with her not practicing very often. Now we've told her she'll do it more. Okay, good. So what's the best time and place for her to, to do this? She actually has time. She needs to put it on her schedule. Okay, good. And she had a question about her hands. You said her hands had begun to vibrate. Let's well, start her with the light language and the hands will start activating. Okay, very good. She's going to start believing more in her spiritual self. Mm -hmm. It's going to become more of her, her being, her angelic self again. Now, I know that Simone has had several different hypnosis sessions. Why did you bring her to this one? A lot of release, mm -hmm. light language, confirmation. What do you want her to leave from here, knowing? Yeah, her angelic self. To break the shell of the 3D. Mm -hmm. It'll fall away the more light is poured into the body. 
And when she breaks that shell, what's going to happen to her? She'll walk in light. Mm -hmm. It'll feel like floating in light. Very good. Does she need to work with any others? They'll come to her. They will. Should she continue to do these retreats? She's planning on someday doing her own. The path is unfolding as she creates it. Okay. So she needs to create the path. Yeah. Anything she can create. Mm hmm Well, she seems to have come here in this lifetime to be a creator. Yes. Mm hmm How is it that her designs are assisting those that live in them? Moving the energy freely. Mm hmm Creating beauty. Even her photos are tapping people into nature beauty. Mm -hmm. Is there yeah. anything she hasn't tapped into while she's doing her creations that you would like to tell her about right now? Something that will enhance her creations. Something with the animals. Mm -hmm. Something's coming for the animals. Okay. Some path is opening with animals. Mm -hmm. It's it's lightly there. Good. Do you have a message at all from any of her ancestors that may want to contact her? We miss her, and she's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. And we know it's hard. Every day isn't always going to be perfect, but you're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else that you needed to touch upon during this session for her? The reason why you wanted her here? We're excited for her path. Mm -hmm. How many are working with her? Seven. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her a little bit about those seven? What are their roles in her life? One of them speaks the light language mm -hmm. through her. Mm -hmm. What about the others? Angels. Yeshua. There's other layers of ancestors there. Mm -hmm. There's a native warrior. Now, when you first started, she was taken to a cave where she saw the centaur and a Native American. What role do they play in her life? These are also aspects connected to her husband. Okay. What does she need to know? She always has Native American guides. Mm -hmm. She's seen them before. When we helped her bring the baby into the world. Mm -hmm. Does she need to do anything to give back to these Native Americans through her work? She will continue to work with the Native Americans. Mm -hmm. She'll learn from them again in this lifetime. It's just a remembering. Okay. Anything else? There's so much more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for another day. <laughs> Why is it that she is getting this piecemeal? 
a little bit here, a little bit there. To prepare her. Mm -hmm. To brace her. That's how she wants it. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you would like to tell her today? Or are we complete? Complete. Very good. Thank you so much. Welcome back. <laughs> how do you feel? Let's ground you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> how is this one, huh? <clears throat> a little different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were given permission to fly. <laughs> how does your body feel? Good. Mm hmm. I mean, I have a little bit of a headache from caffeine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a lot of information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see? There's a lot to think about. Well, yeah, well, that's why we record these things. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know? Thank you. This is the whole idea. This was very different than your last ones. Yeah. You think that we needed to delve into something totally different this time? Yeah. The light language was cool, too. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to come so quick. Because it's only happened like two times before. Mm -hmm. And what did you feel as you were speaking it? I could almost see mm -hmm. who was helping channel it. <laughs> did you feel any energy yeah. in your body? Oh, yeah. I felt it. Yeah. So whatever you have, whatever this light language is, is actually vibrating just like those machines where you put the salt on it and the frequencies are shaking things around into mm -hmm. different, different shapes. Shapes. That's what you were doing with your voice. Yeah. The light language was actually, I could feel it. I'm so it. excited. I could feel it through my body. That's so cool. Like as if it was a frequency going through. It is. I think I'm going to go into the woods and do it like all the time. Mm-hmm. And then I'll get more comfortable and I'll get more practiced at it. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to bring it up more. Yeah. I mean, right I just do. Because right now you're still kind of like... Because it's the ultimate vulnerable. Right. <laughs> it's the ultimate. But that's... <clears throat> you have to embrace that. Yeah, I'm going to. Thank mm -hmm. you for helping me. Yeah. You did, <laughs> great. You did great. Is this something you want to keep private? Whatever. No, it's up to you. It's up to you what you feel. If you don't if you feel if this feels very vulnerable to you and you don't want to share, we won't share. That's fine. Mm 